Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the beast vision that I did in uh, the last montage that I made. And basically all this is is the uh, monster eyes um, color correction that I uh, that I gave you guys for free in uh, the first After Effects tutorial video. I'll include another link in the description, but as you can see from uh, over here on the right, you scroll down and it's monster's eyes right there. So here's what it looks like. All right, so a couple things we're going on here to make this uh, happen. I like to use adjustment layers and basically an adjustment layer is just a layer that whatever you do to it, it'll change and alter all the layers underneath it. So as you see right here, I got this labeled Beast Vision. And we're just gonna go into a new comp here and I'm gonna build this from scratch. So I'll go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer I'm going to set some markers here where I want the effect to start and to stop. Again, just holding shift to make it sure that it snaps to the area that I want. And then I need to trim this adjustment layer, so I'm going to hit Alt, back bracket to end it right there, and Alt, start bracket. And we'll go ahead and rename this Beast Division. And now we just need to drop in that. Uh, color correction. So just do a little search, type in, type in the name of the effect I want to find. Just drag and drop that on there. Now the problem that we uh, have right off the bat is it goes from no effect to all the way on. So what we want to do is uh, fade that in. So if you drop down the adjustment layer, drop down effects, and the CC lens is the effect that makes it that gives it that uh, that curved look and it's the size and the convergence. So if, as you see, if I adjust the convergence, it changes it like that. So what I want to do is I want it to go from nothing to just a little bit, stay on for a while, then go back to nothing again. So what we're going to do is go to the start of the clip, put this on zero, you're going to click the stopwatch for convergence. Then just scroll over just a little bit and change the amount to whatever you want. I like to change it until you got kind of like an iris around the middle. Right about there looks pretty good. Then you're going to go towards the end, almost to the, the uh, last marker here, and just set another keyframe, which is going to be identical to what we just set. And then lastly, just go to the very end and set that back to zero. Now what that does is, as it scrolls through the timeline, it'll slowly fade in, it'll hold it right there, then it'll fade out. And this uh, keyframe uh, setup right here, this pattern, you need to, if you really want your uh, effects to fade in smoothly and fade out, just remember this pattern right here, and it'll work uh, pretty good for whatever effect you choose. Alright, so let's take a look at this one more time. Alright, that's pretty much it. I got another little effect here I want to show you guys so I can demonstrate that fading in and fading out. And this effect is called Find Edges. As you can see right here, I got the same little uh, keyframe pattern going on. And what this is going to do is as it fades in, it's going to get all weird and uh, biomechanical looking. And then once it gets towards the end, it'll fade back to normal. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Alright, 
Uh, another tip for you guys, the reason I like to use adjustment layers like this is let's say I want to use this, duplicate this effect for later on. I'll select the effect, hit Control D, and I'll just move it down. Let's say I want to Let's open the uh, layer properties, go to effects, and this is where our keyframes are. Let's say I want it to last a little bit longer. So just stretch that out, and then you can stretch these out. Hold shift to snap it to the end, and instead of having to look through the video clip for the effect, you can just duplicate and copy and paste a lot faster that way. If you want it to fade in slower, you just kind of bring these towards the middle, and you know, vice versa if you want it to come in real fast and go back out. That's all you have to do. So thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments below if this is going to help you, and if you find any effects on some video that you want me to show you how to do, uh, just give me a link to the video, and I'll try to see if I can figure it out. Thanks.